Imagine this. You're filling up a giant cylindrical water tank like this, whose radius is 4 meters and length is 10 meters. Now, when you're almost done, you stop to check how much water is in the tank. The water level has reached 6 meters height, but as you can see here, it hasn't completely filled the cylinder yet. Now someone asks you to calculate the exact volume of water in the tank at this moment. So, can you solve it? Okay. Imagine you are looking at the cylinder from this side. Now we will slice the cylinder in half like this to look at this circular part or cross section. When the tank isn't fully filled, the water creates a segment of the circle like this. So, to find the volume of water, we need two things. The area of this circular segment, the part of the circle below the water level, and the length of the tank. This is because the volume of the cylinder equals the area of this base times its length. So, the volume of water will be 10 times the area of this circular segment, which we will call as A. Now, here comes the magic. Let's now focus on the cross section. We want to calculate the area of this blue region. This blue region can also be divided into these two parts, the circular segment and this triangle. Now this is 6 and this is 4, so this will be equal to 2. Now consider this triangle. We know that the line drawn from the center of the circle will act as the perpendicular bisector of this chord, and thus both of them will be equal and this will be 90 degrees. This is the same as the radius, or 4, and this is 2. So using Pythagoras' theorem, if we label this as b, then we get b square equals 4 square minus 2 square, or 12, and thus b equals 2 root 3. And therefore, this will also be 2 root 3. So the area of this triangle will be half into base times height. Base is this, or 4 root 3, and height is 2, so the area will be 4 root 3 meter square. Amazing! Now let us consider this angle as theta. So this angle will also be theta. Now what will be the value of tan theta? It will be 2 root 3 over 2, or root 3. So, using the trigonometric table for the standard angles, we get theta equals 60 degrees, and thus this will be equal to 120 degrees, right? Awesome! Now consider a circle of radius r. Its area will be pi r square, isn't it? Then, if we take a segment of this circle such that this angle is alpha, what will be its area? It's simple, right? It will be a fraction of this pi r square. Now, how to find out this fraction? The fraction is based on the angle alpha compared to the full angle of the circle, which is 360 degrees. So, the fraction is alpha divided by 360. Now, consider this segment of the circle. What will be its alpha or this angle? This is 120 degrees, and the full angle is 360 degrees. So alpha will be 360 minus 120 or 240 degrees. And r, or this radius, is 4 meters. So the area of this segment will be 240 over 360 times pi times 4 square or 16 pi times 2 over 3 or 32 pi over 3 meters square. So the area of this base, or a, equals 32 pi over 3 plus 4 root 3 meters square. And thus, the volume of the water in this tank will be 10 times a, or 320 pi, over 3 plus 40 root 3 meter cube, which in decimals will be roughly 404.4 .4 meter cube. And that's it. Can you let me know in the comments what this volume will be in liters? Also, if you enjoy my videos, and want to support my channel, consider becoming a Patreon, as it helps me create more awesome content for you. Link is in the pinned comment. So good!